Hello everyone, Liav is here. I want to introduce to you the uh, new Tiny Timer for F1S and E36. Uh, I added many features according to uh, your requirements after I read the posts uh, and the comments in uh, Facebook. And I want to introduce you all the new features and to make a new tutorial for this timer. So first let's say how we operate this timer. Well, when I long press the, the timer, then uh, the motor will start. And now when I release it, it should start to count the time. It's supposed to be 5 seconds for the engine and then more 5 seconds to the DT. Well, that's it. Very simple to operate. Well, uh, I want to introduce a, a new feature, uh, which is the uh, safe start, uh, I call it. Uh, after the motor starts, it has to run for about at least one and a half seconds before you can release it, because uh, to, to prevent accidents. In case you accidentally push the button and hold it more than two seconds and the motor starts, then if you just release it, it will stop. So I'll show it to you. I hold it and I release it immediately. Okay. Again. Well, what happened during this one and a half second that the motor uh, is wrapping up the RPM? It's not start in uh, full RPM. And uh, you can see that both legs are lit up uh, together during this ramp up and when they start blink that that's the time that you can release the button and launch if you release it earlier it will stop so look again on the uh, on the lights i will zoom in ramp up and now we can release it now it starts so i stop it what I did right now, it's like the RGT, I'll explain, to, I'll explain it also. Well, the button itself it, uh, acts exactly like an RGT signal. So when I press it once, the motor stops, and when I press it again, then the server moves to the DT. So let's watch it. Now I look it up because it went to sleep. And again, I start, I press, stops. And if I press again, DT. So this is behaves exactly the same like you send an RDT command if, uh, from remote. And um, so let's see what we can configure here. First, I wake it up to get to the menu, to the configuration menu. I need to press three fast clicks. One, two, three. Now we can see the light pattern. Each light pattern represents a different menu. This blue fade in fade out is the DT time. And if I press once, we can see both of them uh, fade in and fade out. This is the motor time. And the increments of the motor are tenths of a second and up to 20 seconds. Uh, and um, let's see what else do we have here. If it's fade in like this, uh, this is the RPM configuration, in case we want a different uh, uh, RPM for testing the model. So let's see how it works. Uh, I'll press long press to select this menu. Okay, and now both LEDs are, uh, are on. So now each time I press the button, I increase the throttle. Well, the, because the timer has a, a wide, wider range than the engine, it starts from below the minimum threshold and also can come above the maximum threshold. So the first few clicks won't do nothing. They will raise up the throttle, but nothing happens. So let's count how, how much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh. Okay, so this is the minimum uh, RPM. If I press again, it will raise it a little bit more. 
So you can see each time it raises it a little bit and for two seconds and then uh, stops. I can press it multiple times during it works and then it will uh, be faster and faster like this. And if I want to choose this RPM, I just long press and I select it. And now I can do the same flight with different RPM like this. That's it, very simple. So what else do we got here in the menu? I'm come back again this is the DT I forgot to mention that the increments here are 10 seconds so I mean you can increment by one minute but also by 10 seconds this is the maximum resolution uh, up to 15 minutes and this is the motor time this is the RPM menu that what we did just a second ago and this one is the servo configuration if we want to change the rotation configuration and this one is very important this blinking LED like this blinking red LED this is the delay time of the servo popping um, here uh, the, the increments are 1 second and you can change it up to 10 seconds and uh, the last menu is the signal time, this is the blue blinking, uh, this is the RDT sing signal time, it starts from half a second and maximum is 5 seconds in increments of half a second, I'll explain it about it later. So uh, let's go, we can go out from the menu by clicking three times very fast and we are out. Well. What is the uh, delay time of the stabilizer? This is very important uh, uh, feature. First, uh, usually I heard that people said that if you stop the motor and then uh, immediately pop the stabilizer, then you can break your model. So it's very important that you have a, a delay between the motor and the stabilizer. So uh, we can see here if I will configure, for example, like two seconds between the, the delay for two seconds, it will take two seconds to the stabilizer to pop. So let's configure it and see it happens. So three fast clicks and I'll go to the menu. This is the red one is the stabilizer delay, long press. The minimum is one second, so we are uh, already at one second. So I press once is two seconds and maybe let's do three seconds so another one and long press okay now it's configured so now I'll start the motor start the flight and then uh, immediately I press the button to uh, mimic an, R an uh, R RDT to stop the motor and then it will take three seconds to the server to move One, two, three. Okay, it didn't happen. Well, this is not a bug, this is another feature, I forgot about it. <laughs> well, uh, other people said that if they want to uh, make the, their test flights uh, to... Uh, they want to... Uh, start to turn off only the motor without the stub will pop. So, I mean, if the DT time, like now it's 10 seconds, if it's less than 90 seconds, less than 1 minute and 30 seconds, then the, this delay is ignored. So that's why it took more than 3 seconds, because it's completed up to 10 seconds. So, if you want to see the delay it works in, in working, we need to uh, change the DT time for example for two minutes like this. I'll enter to the menu by three fast clicks and this is the DT time, the blue fade in fade out, long press and now I want two minutes so one, two and long press. This is the 10 seconds, I don't want any seconds so long press and now it's configured 
and we can see how it will work now. Long press and a little press one, two, three. Well, you can see that delay is working. Well, I I made I made it like this because I want to make this timer 100% uh, uh, cheating proof, which means. Uh, I heard that maybe some people can just turn off the motor without uh, turning on, uh, popping the stub. So they cannot do this in this timer if uh, they make a flight for DT time longer than 1 minute and 30 seconds. If they make the DT time less than this, then this, is, uh, this feature is available. So you can turn off the motor and the delay will be ignored so you can let it fly as long as you want until you make the second uh, press and then you will pop the stabilizer stabilizer but uh, i want to show you another uh, important thing if i change the delay of the stabilizer for the longer period like 10 seconds for example oops three clicks I'll go to the stabilizer. Oh, I made the clicks too fast, so it took me out. Three fast clicks. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now this is the uh, stabilizer delay. Uh, long click. I I'll aim it to. Uh, I configure it to ten seconds. One. Well, actually, it's two because it started from one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the maximum. Okay, so now we can see what we will see that we, even if it's two minutes, we can uh, make a, a DT, uh, the, the stabilizer pop earlier than the ten seconds if we press the second time. Press once and I press second time. So the stabilizer delay, uh, in, in the stabilizer delay is configured the delay of the servo, but you can make it work earlier if you send another uh, RCDT command uh, from your transmitter. Well, the last menu, which is uh, also important, but uh, maybe the default setting will be work for all of you uh, is the signal delay time, which the default is the half a second. Uh, what does it mean? Um, the timer needs to distinguish between the first and the second uh, uh, R RCDT command. So you need to know how much time the signal that sends from the receiver, uh, uh, how much time it takes. So, uh, usually it can take a few milliseconds, uh, but in case another producer make an RGT that works and sends a signal for about one second or two seconds, then this uh, definition, uh, th this configuration will not work very good for you, and you can change it to make it work. Um, oh. Another feature that I forgot to mention about uh, is for uh, your test flight, of course, maybe you want uh, to make a, an immediate uh, RGT, uh, an immediate DT, uh, but in case you don't have an RGT, like you can see here, I don't have any connector to RGT if you want this version of the timer. Of course, I have a different version with the connector. So, uh, the, there is also a possibility to make the DT uh, almost immediately. I mean, uh, the, the DT will work uh, the delay time after the motor shuts off. When it happens, only when the DT time is shorter than the motor time. So if I configure, for example, the, uh, the DT time for zero seconds, then the DT won't 
uh, won't be immediately when the motor shuts off, but the delay time. So for now it's configured for 10 seconds, so it will take 10 seconds. So let's configure and see how it works. Three fast clicks. I'll change the DT time for zero seconds. So I'll enter this menu. I don't want minutes, so long press. I don't want seconds, so long press. And now the DT time is configured for zero seconds, while the motor is configured for no uh, three, five seconds. Oh, I forgot. Well, let's see. But the DT will happen 10 seconds after the motor stops. So I leave it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So you see, if you want to make uh, your test flight and you don't have an RDT connected to this timer, you can make this uh, mode uh, to make the flight safer. You need to just the delay of the stabilizer and you need to make the DT time shorter than the motor time then the, you'll have a few seconds after the motor shuts off you'll have a DT well I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if so please subscribe to my channel like my video and uh, also like my Facebook page and if you have any other su suggestions, uh, please let me know about it. Uh, as you can see, uh, very quick I can make changes in this timer, in the software, uh, to adjust it uh, by your requirements. And I hope you like this timer and you like this video. Thank you very much for watching.